which is completed in three steps number 1 pressure filtration number 2 selective reabsorption and number 3 is tubular secretion first we will discuss the pressure filtration pressure filtration happens when the blood from the renal artery enters the glomerulus through arterioles arterioles are the smallest arteries the blood enters the glomerulus this blood has the high pressure due to which the waste materials which includes water salt glucose and urea it is filtered into the bowman's capsule means the blood is clarified and all the waste material falls into the bowman's capsule this whole waste material is now known as glomerular filtrate but this material is not entirely waste so some kind of reabsorption takes place so that the important components can be saved inside the body the next step is selective reabsorption in this step 99% of the filtrate is reabsorbed by three processes osmosis diffusion and active transport this will include some water and glucose when it will reach the loop of henle the descending limb will allow the reabsorption of water and ascending limb will allow the reabsorption of salt the salts are reabsorbed through active transport water always follows the salts water always follows the salts and it is reabsorbed